Okay, today we're going to look at the cubic discriminant and how we can calculate it from Vandermonde matrix. In our previous lecture, we talked about it. You know, the determinant is useful to if the value is zero, it means some roots are equal to each other, right? So RST would be the roots. This is a cubic equation. And for the Vandermonde matrix, it's very commonly used in many different fields of mathematics. You know? um, this is like a, for the dimension three, if you have three variables, so the matrix is like that. So the property of that is, is that the <coughs> determinant of the, of the uh, matrix is actually uh, the um, product of the differences, you know, in that order, right? So this is just for the three-dimensional one. For n variable, would be a similar, you know, results. We're gonna cover that. And um, now, here, the question is, how is this related to the, you know, determinant that we have been studying? So this is actually a square, right? So notice that uh, if we have the v transpose v, then that would be identical to the square, right? So we find the relationship here, right? So the so determinant of that matrix, which is uh, um, the transpose of, uh, of a matrix determinant would be the same. So that would be square, you know, which is identical, right? So Earlier, we learned that the determinant is actually this, okay? So can we calculate from the matrix instead, right? This is a um, subject today. So let's try to expand out this matrix, right? The transpose times itself. So this is going to be, this is a transpose, right? This is a V transpose, and this is a V. You multiply together, you get this matrix, right? You know, the first row, first column, that will be three. You have first row, second column, that will be R plus S plus T, and so on and so forth. You notice that uh, the sum and the sum of squares, sum of cube, this is exactly what we learned earlier about the SN or SK, which is R to the case power plus s to the case power plus t to the case power, right? So we learned that in earlier lectures. All right. So this matrix, if you write in in terms of s, is going to be this, right? So s zero is um, when the zeros power would be three, right? R to the zeros power, s to the zero power, that would be three, right? This is s zero. S one would be one's power. This would be s one. This would be S2, and this would be S4 here, S3, okay? So we rewrite the matrix using the, you know, S sub K notation, all right? So, and we know that the determinant of this matrix is the, you know, earlier we know that it, it is a determinant that we're looking for, right? So, We also reviewed that uh, for the elementary symmetric polynomial of the roots would be, you know, sigma one, two, three here. And uh, um, sometimes if you have a sigma k, for k greater than n, that will be equal to zero, right? So in this case, n equals three for, because for the cubic equations, there are only three roots, right? Another thing we learned is, uh, is, uh, is sk. Right, for the cubic equations, we know that S0 equals 3, S1 equals sigma 1, right? This is by definition. S2, there is a recurrence relationship, right? So S2, and uh, here we would like to express everything in terms of sigma 1, sigma 2, and sigma 3. So here, S1, you're going to plug in sigma 1 here, this becomes sigma 1 squared minus two sigma two. 
and here the same thing you know, once you have sigma s2 you plug in here you, you plug this is a sigma one you plug in this whole thing as s2 uh, you do some algebra you're gonna get this okay so you're gonna s1 is sigma one s2 is gonna be this one s3 is gonna be this s4 is gonna be that one all right so how do we calculate the determinant of the matrix you know the by definition you know for the uh, three by three matrix determinant is actually you know the major diagonal right and then this one or positive terms and this would be you know positive terms in other words s0 s2 s4 plus s1 s3 s2 plus and s2 s1 s3 right and then the other direction would be the negative terms, right? So the other one would be this is negative terms, right? This is negative terms, so negative s2 to the third power. And then negative here would be minus s1 square s4. And then minus s0 times s3 square minus s0 s three square all right so earlier we already know that you know every s right si can be expressed in terms of sigma one sigma two sigma three so you're going to plug in and then do some algebra i'm not going to you know do it here because it's kind of tedious but if you do that if you plug in for example um, the variable here you know, for S2, this is for S3, this is for S4. If you do that, and then you do some algebra here, right? This is, uh, and S0 is three, right? This would be three, and S0 is three. So, and then this term, you can, they're the same, you can combine them into one term, right? So you're gonna get this, right? And then you plug in the earlier, you plug in the three S2, what is S2? And earlier we said uh, s2 is equal sigma 1 square minus 2, two sigma 2 you know, sigma 1 square minus 2 sigma 2 right, times s4 right and you're just plugging everything here and I'm gonna skip the steps here you know you can do this as an exercise and at the end what you get is if you plug in you're gonna calculate you get this which is identical to what we get uh, from the previous lecture, all right, but today we did it from a, a different angle, all right, so that's it for today, I think uh, hopefully you find it interesting, and the fact that uh, we can connect, make connections between, you know, uh, and the degree three and Vandermann matrix and the cubic discriminant, you know, all right. Thank you.